A little while ago on YouTube, I had a viewer who asked me how to sort a range from left to right and then top to bottom. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's dive in. So as you can see in this finished product here, we have a range that is all scrambled up and we want to be able to sort it from left to right, starting in the top left cell and then top to bottom. I'll break it down into three steps and then I'll put it all together into one formula for you at the end. Now to play along, grab a copy of the link to the Google Sheet in the description below. Once you've made a copy and opened it up, we'll dive in together. Okay, so your starter sheet should look a little bit like this. Now our first task is to convert the entire range here, this range here, into columns. Now in a previous recent tutorial, I've shown you how to convert a range into a single column and a single column into a range. There'll be a link in the description below for that as well. So our first task here is to use the to col function here. And all we need to do is select the range, just like that. Close our column and hit tab. There it is. Now you'll notice here a couple of NAs. All I'm doing is running formula text to display the formula above. So it's a little bit convenient for both me and you. Okay, so what's our next step? So our next step then is to sort this range. So all we're going to do is apply sort to this range in column H. So equals sort. And then I'm going to select this range and close my brackets and hit tab. And now you can see we've got Yagi 1 all the way through the 36 in order. Awesome. Okay, so let's add in the rep rows here. And then we want to select our range again, this sorted range. And then we need to apply our wrap counts. How many rows is going to be wrapped by? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to apply 6 here and close it. Nice. So that's all our functions. We just need to combine them together now. So first we are going to add in our two columns function here. So I'm just going to copy this, hit tab to get out and go into our cell S4, hit control V to paste. And then we're going to apply sort to that. So sort brackets around the two columns function. And just keeping in mind at each stage, you can always press tab to see how things are going. So uh, I'm going to go back in again, and then I'm going to apply wrap rows to this sort and two columns. So wrap rows here. And our wrap count is six, as we remember. Close the brackets, hit tab, and there you have it. We have sorted our range from left to right and then top to bottom. In our next tutorial, we are going to quickly cover how to sort each row individually and then sort each of those sorted rows from top to bottom by column A. Make sure you like this tutorial and subscribe so you get a notification of when this next tutorial comes out. Until next time.